everybody, what is up? It is me, your boy, Geometric, and uh, I just gotta make this part for the first part of the video, okay? Because, like, I don't want anybody going in the comments and saying that sponsored, sponsored. Okay, so I'm making this video because the new, I'm got early access to the Solero 5G Plus, okay? Now, if you don't know what the 5, the Solero is, it's a Boost exclusive phone. The original is called the Solero 5G, and I'm not gonna lie, the phone itself looks premium, but it was garbage, okay? Like, is it's not a good phone at all. So many bugs would uninstall Facebook by itself, the volume would turn down by itself, just a whole bunch of issues that caused a whole bunch of people not to like the phone. I thought that like when they made the Solero 2 is what I thought it was going to be called that they would fix a lot of the issues. This is not a Solero 2. They went a whole new way and have named the phone Solero 5G Plus. Okay, so this is the second installment in the Solero series. I didn't make one on the phone whenever it came out because I didn't work at Boost. But since I got early access, I figured I would make a video for you guys so you could figure out what you wanted to do or not. A lot of there's been like people like so I'll be the first one making a video on this because like nobody else has a access to this phone yet. So that's why I'm making this video. It'll be the first one out there and I'll do my best to cover what I can. I'm sorry guys, my hair is a mess, like it's static. I, I know the 4K is picking up on it a little bit. Also guys, I'm, I'm gonna say this, what I'm gonna do in the video when I go to record, vi like to show video quality, um, I hate doing that. I hate freaking doing stuff like that. It gets all my nerves doing it. But it's just th things that have got to be done for me to be able to get this video out. Um, I'll try to catch pictures and get them onto my iPhone if I can. Um, if I can't, that's going to be a bummer. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the Solero 5G Plus and 5G comparison. So review the 5G Plus in a comparison with the old phone. Let's do it. So you're a Boost Mobile customer, and the first thing you notice when you walk in the store is this new sign. Uh, let's pretend that the display is up, though. Solero 5G Plus. Extreme size and extreme speed. 7-inch Full HD display. And you notice they have a comparison of the specs of the two, the two key things you want to put. Solero 5G, Solero 5G Plus. 16 megapixel main camera which is the back 8 megapixel front 50 megapixel main camera 16 megapixel front so like a higher jump on the back and a two times jump on the front memory wise 64 gigabytes of storage 128 gigabytes of storage 4 gigs of ram 6 gigs of ram now i'm not sure how accurate these are android phones seem to lie a little bit when it comes to ram but we shall see um, you know, good storage for a budget price phone. This is how much um, the lowest iPhone has. So that's actually a really good thing to see. 4,000 milliamp battery, 5,000. Now this is a huge battery. It's probably because the phone is so big. Uh, but enough like looking at the specs and everything, guys. Let's go and check out the Solero 5G+. Plus. All right, buddy, I'm going to put this part early in the video because I had to go and do a couple things to be able to get Subway Surfers on this uh, phone. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to click on both of them at the same time, get them both up and run and see which one opens first. They both opened up the game fairly fast. The Solero 5G, of course, opened it up first. The Solero met with a, with a couple of pop-ups. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to run on both and obviously there's a big difference on how the solero 5g looks compared to the solero so obviously I, I, it's kind of hard to play both the games at the same time but you guys see uh the solero 5g plus just way smoother it looks nicer it does, doesn't have as much heavy blue light on it as the solero did let's turn the brightness all the way to the max on both of these devices i believe the solero 5G has, um, man, I'm just not used to Android. I uh, believe the Solero 5G just has a, a higher brightness than the 5G Plus. But uh, they both look good, guys. They both look kind of good. So, Subway Surfer uh, uh, met with an ad on that one. But this is how both of them look, guys. Um, honestly, the 5G Plus is a better phone to go for. The 5G still had a couple of issues. We didn't experience any in this video, but they are there. They are present. And we guys, uh, this is going to be the end for the game part review, but this was going to be one of the first parts that I show. Um, they both look real nice. But yeah, guys, that's how the games look. 
All right, guys, here we are with the two phones. First thing we're gonna do is, of course, the power on test and see which one powers on first. I've charged both these phones up to 100. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set the, my phone down real quick and power these two on and see which one comes on first. So let me set my phone down there and let's go ahead and hit the power button on both of these phones. Hit them at the exact same time. Okay, they both vibrated. They both meet with a uh, similar type of display solero 5g plus solero 5g powered by android powered by android i'm so excited to do this comparison guys i'd like i said the 5g plus looks amazing so the solero seems to have came on first whoa phone starting and the 5g plus b in the first test now of course this this just could be an issue with the fact that the phone um is a little bit bigger we'll go ahead and slide up okay come on slide up all right there we go so just the first off comparison i like the look of the solero 5g more now i do have 120 hertz display on the solero 5g um plus and the solero 5g does not have 120 hertz i will show you guys we're going to take it to the settings uh, the solero has a lot of bloatware as well i'm not sure why it has so much bloatware but it does. Um, I don't know why that opened up messages automatically. <sighs> Probably because I updated the phone. So we're gonna go ahead. Oh, actually we'll look at about phone first, I believe. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is uh, Android 11. And then we go down to the Solero 5G Plus and it runs Android 12. So that's just a little bit better thing right there. The fact that the Solero runs that. We're gonna cover up those IP addresses. Um, so then let's go ahead and I'm going to show you guys display like I was talking about. So we'll go to display on here first and then we'll go to display on here and we'll go to advanced. And if you see, there is no 120 Hertz option here. It's just a regular 60 Hertz display on the Solero. It's so smooth. It actually does have 120 Hertz and I did test this out and it is a noticeable difference. When you turn it off, you can see like, you know, that right there a little bit of the you know but then 120 hertz you can't really see it on the camera because iphones ain't recording 100 uh, recording 120 hertz but i think you can definitely tell a good difference between the 60 and 120 hertz so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into youtube on both of the devices and we're going to see how each one stacks up when it comes to playing videos so it looks like the solero of course like obviously had it open first because uh, i was on it first but let me put my phone down and we're going to get to two we're going to get to my video on two of them and we're going to see how they run so obviously it's dark but the reason that i'm doing this is because i'm trying to type it in on both phones um, and if I get it done on both phones, um, just by setting the phone down, I'm able to type it in faster and we're able to continue instead of watching me type it in on both phones. So, I have it pulled up on one phone. I did not get it pulled up on the Solero because I did not put the name in correctly. So let's scroll down on both. Let's open my channel up. So I've got my channel open up on both. We're gonna do the Wendell and uh, Vinny review because those were both in 4K, but to avoid a copyright strike, I'm going to turn both phones down and get past the intro so I don't have to fight against um, Viacom again because I did have to fight against them when I uploaded this video for that copyright. So, we're gonna turn both the phones to the side. Obviously not a good look on my face there, but let's see what the quality is. So both of these claim to have full HD. We'll see what the Solero can put out. I recorded this video in 4K. So this one can do 2K. It can do 1460. The Solero 5G probably can only, it does only 1060. Now I think I have a reason for this. All right, so you're going to think right off the bat the Solero is better. I'm going to have to say no on that. Um, so I think that the Solero 5G 
has uh, 1060 uh, 80 I mean 1060 uh, on YouTube and videos and such because of the 60 FPS reason like if you think about it it's like you got you, you can't have 4k I mean 2k on a phone like this and it be budget type so now let's go ahead and press play on both and see how they both look so they both look like semi they both look really good you don't really notice oh, too much of a difference uh in the display and i think it's just because like with that like 1080 display on the solero 5g it it, it looks good and you're on a big screen the solero 5g of course is having a little bit of lag on the video uh the solero the other solero is not having that issue so let's pause the videos and see what the issue is there why that's happening so i have noticed that on like on some devices that youtube will lag a little bit like that and i'm not sure why it's doing that unless the phone of course can't handle the uh the 2k that well because it, it played it well at first but then it just started bugging out so we're going to go down to 1080 60 and see if it maybe runs better. So let's go ahead and get them both playing again. Okay, they're at different parts now. Yeah, the Solero 5G is lagging. So we're gonna stop this and we're gonna like close out YouTube on the Solero 5G and see what the issue is there with that lag. Okay, it looks like it might've fixed itself. Yeah, it fixed itself. So I'm, I was kind, I'm kind of confused why that was happening. Um, they're not at really the same time anymore. The Solero 5G is a little bit ahead because I did pause the actual Sol uh, the actual Solero. But doing that seemed to fix it of like going into picture in picture and everything. I'm not sure why it was doing that originally. That was terrible FPS qual and quality in general. So yeah, the videos look fine, but now we're gonna pause. I'm gonna get the 209 so I can try to have them at the same point again. So first off, we're gonna listen to the sound all the way up on the Solero 5G and see how it sounds. Looks like I got on about at the same time again, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get these to play again uh you know as an example of you know a little bit of like adult humor so i'm probably gonna throw that in here um it'll be at the beginning of the video so you guys this is the phone that. we're hearing right now so the show is wendell and Vinny. now wendell and Vinny, if you guys don't know was about a 32 year old man living uncle living with his 12 year old cousin now okay that was the solero now we're gonna see how the Solero 5G Plus sounds. And remember guys, this the Solero 5G Plus is running, uh, it is running uh, Android 11. So let's go ahead and get these both playing. This is the Solero 5G Plus. Oh yeah, much, much better yeah, sound. Wendell is a 12 year old, he's smart and everything. He's just like that type of kid, you know, he's into like weird things. He's not the average 12 year old making bad decisions and things, you know. You guys know what I'm talking about. We've all been there, we've all been 12, we've all made bad decisions. And now Vinny, the 32 year old, he's basically, you know, a, an adult that's still in the 12 year old teen life is basically what he's living. Like he's into a whole bunch of like stuff or movies, um, movies. he just collects stuff. Um, and then he you know what he does, and then you know what he does. so what i can tell off first notice uh the solero 5g because it is a smaller screen and it has like that 2k 
display, it is much easier for the uh, for the uh, original Solero to like a display a better picture quality, in my opinion. In my opinion, the picture quality of the original Solero looks better on YouTube, and that's not me just saying that because, like I said, I did, didn't really like the Solero. So I have noticed that, that, like one thing, that the Solero 5G does have a better display than the Solero 5G Plus, but this is a seven inch display phone. So I'm not too like, you know, concerned about that. Like, of course, with the big phone like this, there's gonna be those type of issues where the, like, and I don't really see that as a, a full on issue, but it definitely could boggle it down for some people. So while I'm talking, guys, I'm gonna get an app on the Solero 5G so we can do a comparison thing. Um, Dang, man, we can't really get any apps on this phone, can we? Because it's not in a, it's not in a, it's not really logged into anything, which is, which is bad, but you know, it happens and stuff. That, that just seems to happen sometimes. Um, yeah, so that is an issue. Okay, well, the Solero, um, that being said with the Solero, um, we'll do a quick display test on this 5G. Okay, so this is because this is a 5G thing. So this is a Subway Surfers running at 120 hertz. Of course, you guys can't see the 120 hertz. I need to turn that down. I don't know if Subway Surfers copyrights our music like every other game these days, but a lot more games are copyrighting their music. So this is how Subway Surfers runs on the Solero. Um, of course, I'm going to have a little bit of, uh, you know, trouble doing this because I'm watching my phone screen as I do this. But, um, uh, yeah, this is how, you know, a game like this runs fine, you know. Like, it's not terrible. And with the 120, uh, you know, hertz, it looks it looks great in my opinion. But that's just me, you know. Um, I just got this on here to show how this would run. Obviously, nothing uh, crazy. So let's go ahead and uh, even though we didn't open anything else up on the regular Solero, let's see how um, the RAM holds up just a little bit. So they both were. So they both stated about the same part, uh, which is good. I mean, I don't know, guys. I, I really don't have any complaints about the Solero 5G, honestly. Like, it's hard to complain on it. Like, it runs smoother than the Solero does. And even though there's, like, a little bit of issues with, like, you know, the, the display being a little bit worse, I, I just can't find anything bad about the phone. I'll show you guys how the camera looks, obviously, before we start, like, to, to wind down. But this is how the camera quality looks on it. You know, it's not bad. It's pretty decent, and in good light, you're going to take, like, really good pictures. Um, now, like, the front-facing cam is obviously going to be a little bit, like, worse when it comes for wear. Because, obviously, um, it says 50 megapixel, uh, 16 megapixels, guys. But Android cameras are never really going to be that good. Even, like, with me, like, you know, trying to edit how it looks. Front photos on a phone like this are not going to be good. Like, they may say that they're in, like, 4, uh, 4K is what it was saying, but I don't really believe it. But, I mean, like, this camera is definitely better than what the original Solero had. Now, this thing had an atrocious camera. Even, even like, I mean, look at it. Like, the front camera is 8 megapixel, and it's almost the exact same as the Solero uh, 5G. And then the front-facing camera was just atrocious. I mean, the back-facing camera. Like, this looks so bad. Like, it may look a de Yeah, it is, you can just tell big difference let's go back to um uh the solero 5g with the fake 50 megapixel it looks a lot better like it even is dimming the light to kind of like uh go with like the fact that it knows that we're looking out the window so yeah guys out of these two phones the solero 5g plus is definitely a better phone in my opinion like this is a, an actual upgrade 120 hertz on a budget phone is amazing just look at this like no delay whatsoever and then you can you can just tell the difference and that's one of the things i like about this phone with that 120 hertz i noticed the difference going from my 13 to the solero 5g because the iphone 13 is smooth but it's not 120 hertz smooth i wish i got the pro or the pro max so i could experience 120 hertz but this is the closest i'm gonna ever get to it until i like get a better phone 
It's just so amazing. It's so good. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the M4. It's just a little like a display, the first one being on here. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you on the next video. But until then, though, guys, peace out, and have a good one.